Hey guys, this is Spartacus here, and welcome to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the history of Diamond Camo in Call of Duty. So in this video, I'm going to be showing off gameplay of Diamond Camo from all the Call of Duty games that at least have Diamond Camo in it, and ever since Black Ops 2, we have had Diamond Camo in our Call of Duty games, except for Call of Duty Ghosts. Call of Duty Ghosts did come out after Black Ops 2, but they did not have Diamond Camo in that game for some reason, and we all know that there's a lot of things in Call of Duty Ghosts that nobody really Really liked but diamond camo you guys is a very unique camo in the call of duty franchise and, and in this video like i said before i'm gonna be showing you guys gameplay and giving you kind of a little history lesson of the diamond camos in those call of duty games and how you actually earn them like i said before black ops 2 was the first call of duty game to implement diamond camo and to earn diamond camo in black ops 2 was pretty much the same way as you saw in future call of duty games except for advanced warfare that's a little bit different but i'll tell you guys that later in this video but to earn diamond Diamond Camo and Black Ops 2, all you had to do was get every single weapon gold in a certain gun category. So let's start with the submachine gun category, for example. So if you were able to earn yourself gold camo for each of the submachine guns, then you will be able to earn diamond camo for your submachine gun. Same thing with assault rifles. If you earn gold camo for each of the assault rifles, then that meant you got diamond camo for your assault rifles. It was simple as that, and it's really unique how in Black Ops 2 was started the whole thing of diamond camo and how to earn it and all that kind of stuff and back then if you saw someone with diamond camo you would get really jealous and be like dang I don't have diamond camo for that category and it just makes you want to grind it out grind it out you know it just makes you want to grind out the game even more there's it adds more to the Call of Duty franchise than it did before in the past and pretty much ever since then um, we've had diamond camo except for Call of Duty Ghosts like I said before um, but yeah diamond camo black ops 2 simple as that just get gold camo for all the weapons in a certain gun category then you get that diamond camo for that for those weapons which is pretty darn simple now for me personally I was actually able to get diamond camo for only the sub machine gun category but also the rocket launchers I never got diamond camo for any other categories I'm actually really close for assault rifles um, but I just don't feel like going back and grinding out for diamond camo right now uh, but right now you guys do see some gameplay of me using some sniper rifles with diamond camo on them I did not actually earn diamond camo on these sniper rifles you can actually see See these for yourself if you have Black Ops 2. All you gotta do is go to Call of Duty TV, then you go down to the community and you look at most popular game modes. And in those most popular game modes, you'll see um, something called Diamond Snipers, and it'll load it into a custom games for you. And then once you start that game and you look at the preset classes, the preset classes are changed to these sniper rifles, and you can actually see the diamond camo on them for yourselves if you guys want to do that. But yeah, there you go, diamond camo for Black Ops 2. Pretty unique. It's pretty cool looking as well I really like how it looked when they first implemented into the Call of Duty games one more thing I would like to actually add onto the diamond camo in Black Ops 2 is I really like how it's kind of like a gold camo but then with diamond studs on it like not every single part of the gun is filled up with these diamond studs like it's basically just a like gold all over the gun but then in some areas it's also diamond which made diamond camo Black Ops 2 really unique compared to other Call of Duty games moving forward with diamond camo camo so that's just one shout out I just got to give out to Black Ops 2 is how detailed and what they what patterns they did with the diamond camo on these weapons compared to what they did in future Call of Duty games so anyway let's go move on to the next Call of Duty game here so in Advanced Warfare, earning Diamond Camo is a lot easier than earning Diamond Camo and then in Black Ops 2, right? So in Advanced Warfare, earning Diamond Camo is the exact same way as earning Gold Camo in Black Ops 2 or in previous Call of Duty games. So if you earn every single camo for a particular weapon, then you earn yourself Diamond Camo. But to earn Gold Camo for a weapon in Advanced Warfare, what you have to do is just get 200 kills with the weapon with no attachments, and then you're good. I believe it's only 200 kills with no attachments. I no, it's somewhere around there that's pretty much what the challenge is but yeah in advanced warfare earning diamond camo is really easy all you gotta do is just earn all the camos for a single weapon right really easy and if you actually earn let's say assault rifles for example right if you earn diamond camo for all the assault rifles then you will unlock something called royalty camo which is pretty cool so what royalty camo is it's like pretty much a little bit of twist on gold camo where it's like gold camo put onto your weapon 
but there's like this certain like type of pattern into the gold camo and also there's like these rubies also sticked onto the camo as well so it looks pretty cool and it stands out really well I really like how how they put it royalty camo in there which is their like diamond camo essentially royalty camo in advanced warfare is diamond camo from black ops 2 and a diamond camo in advanced warfare is essentially gold camo from black ops 2 which is kind of interesting it's a little bit mixed up there um, but yeah advanced warfare earning diamond camo is a lot easier than it is in black ops 2 and it looks pretty cool you know it's a lot it looks a lot different than it did in black ops 2 because this is made by like a different like uh, gaming uh, industry but still it's really cool you know I really like diamond camo and advanced warfare as well it looks pretty decent on guns but royalty camo is the one camo that people try to aim for not so much diamond camo um, necessarily but the royalty camo because it was a lot harder to earn Earning Diamond Camo in Black Ops 3 is the same way as earning Diamond Camo in Black Ops 2. If you have the Assault Rifles, for example, let's say you get Gold Camo for each of those Assault Rifles, that means you got Diamond Camo unlocked for those Assault Rifles. Same thing with some Machine Guns and Sniper Rifles. And of course, the challenges of course vary depending on what weapon-like categories you're using. Um, but yeah, Diamond Camo looks different in Black Ops 3 as it did in Black Ops 2, where Black Ops 2, um, the studs, the Diamond Studs you see on your gun, are a lot smaller in Black Ops 2 than Black Ops 3. They like made the diamond studs a lot bigger in Black Ops 3, which was kind of interesting, but it still made the guns look really cool, you know? Diamond camo in Black Ops 3 still looked really awesome, you know? But in all honesty, like in my own personal opinion, diamond camo, what didn't really seem that popular in Black Ops 3, and the main reason pretty much for that being is because there was a camo higher that you could earn in that Black Ops 3 than, <laughs> than just diamond camo, right? Um, usually diamond camo was like the top tier camo you could earn for your weapons but not anymore you know ever since black ops 3 that did not happen anymore and i'm really impressed what treyarch had to do here is where if you earned every single camo for every single gun in Black Ops 3, not including the black market guns, those do not actually count, but if you earned every single camo for Black Ops 3, you would earn Dark Matter camo, which is amazing, you know, if you complete all camo challenges, you get yourself Dark Matter camo, which is really, really awesome, you know, because Dark Matter camo is a completely camo to worth getting, you know, you have to go through every single weapon, you have to get... Um, you have to complete all, like, camo challenges for pistols, rocket launchers, assault rifles, snipers. Snipers were the pain in the ass, not going to lie. And then you got yourself Dark Matter Camo, which was this awesome-looking camo that was animated on your gun. It would move around. It's like this dark purple, blackish camo that would move around on your gun. It just looked really, really awesome. Dark Matter Camo was the number one camo people would try to grind for in that game, and I'm really happy that Treyarch added it in to Black Ops 3 because we also see it in Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, only it's called differently in those games and in Modern Warfare Remastered it looks a lot different but Dark Matter Camo completely amazing camo which kind of made Diamond Camo and Black Ops 3 like die you know but to get Dark Matter Camo you did have to get Diamond Camo for all the weapons so that was kind of the thing though but you know Diamond Camo and Black Ops 3 still looks pretty cool but it wasn't as popular as some people might think just because we had camos in supply drops and of course Dark Matter Camo was a harder camo to earn so it made it more valuable once you earn that camo instead of necessarily just the Diamond Camo, all right so that's pretty much how black ops 3 worked and let's move on to the next call of duty game infinite warfare is the most recent call of duty game right now and it also has diamond camo we also have modern warfare remastered but that game does not have diamond camo instead it has something called regal camo which looks really similar to royalty camo only it's more red instead of more goldish looking um but yeah modern warfare remastered doesn't have diamond camo whereas infinite warfare we do have diamond camo which diamond camo in infinite warfare looks super unique than it does in the previous Call of Duty games. Diamond Camo is actually earned the same way as it is in Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, so if you earn all camo challenges for a specific gun category, then you'll have Diamond Camos for that for those guns. So like Assault Rifles, you earn Gold Camo for all the Assault Rifles, that means you earn Diamond Camo for the Assault Rifles like you guys are seeing in this gameplay. So yeah, Diamond Camo, what makes it so unique in Infinite Warfare than it does in the previous Call of Duty games is that it's kind of like it's all over the gun, but there's no gold platter over it. It's like, it looks like the gun is made out of diamond itself and it's kind of like rigid all over it you know it just looks super cool you know it's not like the same type of like pattern of like glued st diamond studs on it it's like the gun is made out of diamond like just diamond in general which I think is really cool I really like what they did with diamond camo and infinite warfare um, but you know infinite warfare also has something similar to dark matter camo but only it's called black sky camo in infinite warfare and in infinite warfare um, it's earned the exact same way you got to earn all camo challenges once you earn every single camo challenge 
challenge for all the weapons, then you get yourself Black Sky Camo, which Black Sky Camo looks really similar to Dark Matter Camo from Black Ops 3, and I'm glad they implemented it into Infinite Warfare. So yeah, there you go, you guys. That is it. That is the history, the evolution of Diamond Camo in the Call of Duty games. It started in Black Ops 2, and then they did not have it in Call of Duty Ghosts, and then ever since then, from Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and also Infinite Warfare, we have ourselves Diamond Camo, and then there you go, you guys. I showed you off Diamond Camo in all the Call of Duty games that we have seen so far, and it's pretty cool, you know. It's really cool to know how it's actually earned and what it actually looks like in those games back in the day, and of course, what it actually looks like now. So that's really cool, you know, you guys. Uh, history of Diamond Camo, I mean, I could have done and made a video um, talking about the history of gold camo but the problem with that is I would have to go through every single Call of Duty game that has gold camo and every Call of Duty game does have gold camo so I don't really like maybe I could do that later in the future you know maybe I can make a video of that's later in the future but you know I kind of wanted to go over diamond camo you know it's a very interesting kind of camo you know and it came into the Call of Duty's life cycle during Black Ops 2 and we've seen it ever since then and it just and it's so cool how it looks like um, in the next Call of Duty games like diamond camo doesn't look exactly the same in every Call of Duty game it's kind of like changed a little bit you know where in black ops 2 and advanced warfare they kind of look similar but they're definitely a lot different than in black ops 3 they definitely made diamond camo look a lot different and then in infinite warfare diamond camo even looks different in that game as well so i really like diamond camo pretty cool looking camo not gonna lie but now we have ourselves dark matter in the black sky camo as well as exclusion zone camo we see in modern warfare remastered now coming into the call of duty games and we'll just have to wait for call of duty world war 2 which is going to be the next call of duty game we'll have to see if that game has diamond camo as well but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a rating and a like and comment below what call of duty game has the best diamond camo which call of duty game do you think diamond camo looks the best in uh, me personally I have to say between Black Ops 2 and Infinite Warfare. Maybe Black Ops 2 and Infinite Warfare. Black Ops 3 does have a pretty good looking diamond camo, but I think I'm going with either Black Ops 2 or Infinite Warfare on that one. But yeah, comment below which Call of Duty game you think has the best looking diamond camo. Uh, also, leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Call of Duty videos later in the future. And I shall catch you guys on another video.